Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Today I'm using these Prism Pour by Colour Art. They're a kind of a, a definitely a made up, a pre made up paint. Come in the most glorious, uh, lustrous, shimmery colours. I think they're predominantly to make the bloom effect without all the ingredients. Again, it's another pre-made uh, product. So I'm going to be um, exploring these paints today and a few other things because it's a definitely an art lab weekend where I'm doing experiments. What I'm showing you there is that I have made up my base just with the um, global impasto acrylic that writing all over my canvas was from a previous idea that i had that i've obviously abandoned um, i just put some um, masking tape roll it around so it's sticky on both sides to hold it onto my um, turntable there because i will have a go at this spin thing without spinning the canvas off and getting myself in too much mess, hopefully not. So I'm going to just layer the canvas and I will hop in and let you know um, any info that I need to tell you when the time comes, so enjoy. I'm just showing you that for my sort of cell activator, the paint that I'm going to put on the top, it's the uh, Black Amsterdam with Floetrol mixed. So I'll put the prism paints I just added a little bit of water to because they were quite thick. I did um, a previous one uh, straight from the container and they're very thick. So I added a little bit of water to these prism paints, hence why they're in those little cups so um, yeah I'm just layering them and uh, not too many colors just trying to keep it simple and then I will now put on the um, in a minute I will put on the black cell activator and see if I can get anything interesting to happen So here we go, I've just got the little um, spatula, just a little um, wooden handle spatula, just trying to do a swipe through it and see if I can get anything to come up. But I wasn't having much luck with the black cell activator actually making the um, nice little lacy kind of effects that I've had, at, I've had at other times doing this. So I'm not sure what was going on. 
it was um you know pleasant to do this process and it was relaxing but i certainly wasn't getting any um fantastic results uh going over with my heat wand did bring up some like little um champagne cells but nothing too much that you know to sort of yell and get excited about so Julie is going to blow and see if I can get anything um you know coming up but I know that doing this it still didn't happen for me it just didn't didn't float my boat at all so I was like yeah, a bit disappointed with my efforts so I'm wondering if that Black Amsterdam just doesn't you know do much we over the top of the prism because they're just i'm not sure but i'm pretty sure that i've done the black amsterdam before over the prism and it works so i have no idea what's going on today i think the gremlins were in my art room Yeah, I can spin it all I like, but it wasn't going to change anything. I mean, it just uh, spread the paint over the whole canvas nicely. Um, and it was nice to sort of do a few little um, doodles through it. But, um, yeah, it's it was... I have to think about this one, and I will probably do some further embellishment with it, as you'll see along the way. so that was my finished part then uh, but not super joying uh, joyful with it well not the results i was expecting as i said i only thinned these paints down with water the black was the amsterdam black with floetrol i thought by swiping it i would get some lovely lacing but it isn't to be as you see but it is very pretty like the colors the colors are gorgeous so i'm happy with that it was another experiment and i will definitely try it again with these doing something different so thank you so much for joining me until tomorrow bye for now